Hi. Making a new padded handle for my <laughs> battery charger. So um, I had this um, contact cement. It's like upholstery cement. I can't remember what the name of it was, but um, it like hardened up a little bit in the jar. So I just dumped some acetone in it and got it back to liquid. And I'm just gluing the, pad. the corners together. So it's a rounded bar on the um, battery charger, but it always had a pad on it. And, and I just kind of wanted to put the pad back on. So I let this stuff sit a few minutes and dry up the two faces. They weren't wet, so that's it. So now they're permanent. So now I'm just gonna make a um, another 22 degree cut on a, another piece of foam, like so. And then come down probably uh, about eight inches. And then, I'm gonna... and then I'll glue these together and I'll sew up the cover and I was making some templates. These are the pieces um, that I cut templates out for um, the patterns for these pads. So, like these literally go around, and I left myself an inch on the bottom to fold back and sew, um, sew Velcro on. So it'll fold back. That's what the angle is. So that angle might get cut off. So that's that. And then this will be a corner and everything's got a half inch overlay except for where the velcro will be that's one inch okay. once i glue the pieces on i'm gonna check the patterns on the bar and um, make sure i got an, uh, enough to give myself a decent overlap seam on the bottom to put velcro along here because i think this is probably uh maybe a quarter inch smaller diameter than the actual pipe so i just thought it would be a challenge to try to make um like turns and sew the turns and see if I can get it in one piece like a roll bar pad but the glue seems to be holding the acetone definitely thinned it out I had to stir the crap out of it with this wood stick but um, it melted probably make it out of one of the ugliest colors I got just to use up some of the material so that's my plan it's not gonna be too fancy I cut these two sides so these are going to be the sides. I just made them any length and I just copied the two of them. So I, I cut two. And you know, this is what kills me is I was looking for this rubber knife that I had and I just sharpened it the other day and I was cutting this foam on top of my miter saw just to use the um, degrees. I must have set it down here on my footstool and it disappeared. I spent probably 15 minutes looking for that. And then I wound up getting distracted as usual. This is how I made the templates for the other ones. Now they're going to be a little bit bigger because of the um, because of the size of the bar. So what I do is I try to give my myself a cushion of at least an inch on the template, and I'll roll it down to the seam. And then even though this isn't like a perfectly straight line, so I come down to the side with the angle on it, which is here. I'll come to the, this side's 90 degrees, so it don't matter. And then I'm going to roll this and trace out this angle. This one's obviously square. So as I roll it, I'm just tracing this shape. Now really, technically you only need half of this if you can determine where the middle is. This way it just kind of gives me a paper template that's just about exact and maybe too exact. And I just roll it all the way to the other split seam and trace out my other line. Take this and I make a um, straight edge on what I already drew. And I, I can take a seamstress tape and then um, roll that around the pad uh, once it's on the bar. Just see exactly how much I need extra and then add an inch to that width and that'll give me enough for um a half inch overlap on either side just for um the velcro but i'm gonna make 
you know, two of these. So I give myself a half inch seam allowance on this end. I'm gonna give myself one inch on the very ends and then a half inch on this end. So that's it, so then I could cut this out. I got three templates for, um, but there's um, these two ends, so. You got five pieces total to be cut out. I just sharpen these too, for the stone. Not bad. So now that uh, I made the templates for my, out of this paper, I can uh, glue all three or all three foam pieces together when I got left. I don't need these pieces to make material uh, templates. So that's uh that's the it for that. I'm gonna keep this piece out for, for gluing. So this will get sewn there. And then this one will get sewn here. This way. Make sure I don't throw them out. Now let's glue these, uh, let's do the fun part and make a mess. So here's my makeshift glue. Get on the inside here. A knot in the seam. Sorry if it's on the outside, I mean. This stuff kind of dries hard and it won't stick to the material. Even if it sticks to the material, I don't, I don't really care. I'm never taking this pad off. I like to work on the sewing machine because it keeps me calm. I gotta start working on a cover for the new sailboat. The winter's coming. I'll make some kind of makeshift cover. Maybe a cover that I can work under the um, in the cockpit. That side only gets glue on one side. So does this one. Sometimes uh, even just saying it out loud helps me keep track. The other stuff, this stuff was so dry, it was, it was just sticking on and peeling right off of this foam. I can't have that. I use this stuff for everything. I fixed my shoes with it yesterday. The sole was coming off of my work boot. This, uh, this stuff should be dry, I'm hoping. I'm gonna start at the seam. And then even like where it's uh, the end's pointy, just pushing it down, and it, it pretty much stays. That's it. So there's the handle pad. Now I just got to make the cover. I can get back to um, whatever I was doing. I got a list over here. I'm gonna write everything down on a list to try to give myself goals for today. So this is pretty much the ugliest material I have, which is why I'm using it. And I'm just going to lay this out upside down, face down. I'm going to put my patterns on here. These lines I'm going to straighten out with this straight edge. Okay, so I only need one of these. It's a good thing I wrote it on here. I only need one of these and I need two of the big ones. So I'm going to do seven inches, which I knew is more than enough. It's easier to just get them exact now because if you um, if you don't, then you'll follow your crappy pattern and you'll really be out of whack. So there's my two sides, the center piece, and then these will be the corners. So now I can put this roll away. I can throw these pieces out, the templates if I want. This is a 3M vinyl tape. This isn't one I was using before. Alright, so that's that. So I can go back. Technically, I should have um, taken my patterns and used half of them and doubled them over. Get them a little more accurate. So I'm going to try to sew this and then move on 
with my day. So these two side pieces, I'm going to just go double check and make sure I have enough hem for the bottoms. I pin this together. My tape here is at a half an inch, so that's um, what I allowed myself. So I usually start a little into it, just so the feet are on it. And then um, I'm just going to run a couple stitches in. And since this machine doesn't go in reverse, I'll reverse it this way. Takes a couple more minutes, but so I just with this machine. If I just rest my foot on the top of the pedal, I can spin the um, the wheel by hand real easy. So it almost goes. So I usually leave my ends and see if I can tie them off. And I tie them too. I used to have a um, litter box down here next to me that I used for um, throwing scraps in and um, the cat's peed in it. This one's stitched in, so I'm just going to snip it off. So that's my first corner on the bar. I guess I shouldn't have made it a point. I should have stuck with the round. Let's, let's do this side. This one's actually round. So I probably have two different corners. It's okay. I wouldn't think of that. I gotta be close to the end of my bobbin too. You know, I start seeing the curly um, bobbin string that I know um, I'm close to the end. I could change that point. If I sew on the other side of it, I can make it round, which I might do. Maybe I'll cut the corner. That'll get rid of that point. So that'll make a rounded corner. This one here that has the point is going to stick up. I'm going to re sew over top of this um, from here. I'm just going to cut this corner off and then I'll get rid of that point. So. Just take a little bit of that point off. That way you um, won't have a point sticking up. So I got to remember that when I do the other ones, just to shave the corner a little bit. A lot of the stuff I do is just um, for fun and it's uh, just for stuff around here that bothers me. Maybe it's procrastinating, doing other stuff, I don't know. But I'll lose sleep over this at night if I don't do it. This pad's been bothering me on this battery charger for years. So this is almost empty. Let's pull this off. The next one. I'll just rewind that one. I'm gonna film that one too. Oh shit, I just break my leg. There's another thing I gotta fix. Can't have that.
careful lamp here that it's gonna have to be soldered. I can't believe I did this. Poor lamp. This in here. Back under there. The first thing. I used to mess things up all the time. God, I mess things up. Alright, so I was stringing this machine. So I went around here three times. Behind that arm, around the tensioner here. We'll never lube your tensioner. I learned that the hard way. Up through here. This hoop by the needle, and then through the needle. I'm just gonna pick up the thread. There's our two threads, and we're good to go. Now I'm just gonna pin the two sides on these, sew them together, and then I'm gonna go dry fit this. Um, on the stand before I hem it, you know, and try to get my wobbly lamp here before it melts, crutches fire. So this is one side, and the patterns don't match, but I'm gonna try to follow along the lines as much as possible and keep this straight as it's important, even if it's off. This one here, this side. Face to face. All right, so let's go back over there. Just this on the handle. It's charging the back though, so. so here's the charger. So all I do now is hem and make a Velcro in. Alright, so we'll do one seam with Velcro and then um, I'll probably have to pin one down. seam out it was just needed to be pulled you know turned inside out so, that's that it's not it's not pretty but it's definitely better than it was so of course this handles off of something else and they may, never made the battery charger handle long enough to walk around with it I'm always walking around with it so this way it's it's mine it's poopal still skin poopal still skin <laughs>